Hello my friends and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris and I'm a Batman statue collector and look at what we have in front of you guys today. Two brand new prototypes from our friends over at XM Studios and these are both quarter scale and they're both the Merciless. Of course, from Dark Knight's Metal, of course, we have the blue version and also the red version. And it was so cool of XM to send these prototypes so I can share them with you, kind of do a review here to kind of show you all of the details about these two awesome statues. And I'm here to tell you right off the bat that having reviewed a lot of these statues from the Dark Knight's Metal line, this thing is massive and it is awesome and it is a centerpiece for sure if you are collecting the line but even if you're not collecting the line and just want this one man this one has so much presence to it the base is insane it is definitely a throne piece it is something very very different and it sure as hell is going to stand out in your collection without a shadow of a doubt. It is just absolutely incredible. So again, I've got the blue one and also the red one. I'm going to show them both individually. And then, of course, I will show them here together. As you guys can see, they are just absolutely stunning. And the paintwork, oh my God, you just have to see this in person to really appreciate what you're getting here. Okay, so anyway, without further ado, I am going to, of course, review this fully. But if you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button otherwise let's get into the review all right guys so here we go and look at this we've got the blue merciless and we've got the red version of merciless both are absolutely incredible from our friends over at xm studios and this again is from dark knight's metal and i'm going to compare and contrast the two of them i'm going to show you all the details on both okay so let's start with the blue one and the base is just insane um probably one of the coolest xm bases i've ever seen it is massive it is awesome um there's rock work as you can see really awesome rock work there is all of these chains now these are real this is like real metal guys real metal chains all the way throughout and then again you have these uh you know shackles right here you have all of these great skulls I mean look at this he's actually using the skulls as a freaking footrest which is awesome again more skulls you have all of this great woodwork throughout which looks great um, it's just awesome uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the uh, the side effects here so again more skulls um, you have this great dilapidated crumbled rock base uh, as concrete stone which looks great you can actually even see like the different the differentiation in color where this has been weathered and you can see the the actual rebar cracked through the corner post which is great again this he's using this as a throne which looks really great and again more of that rebar just sticking up right there it just looks really really cool um, really great colors on this you have some nice tans and some deeper colors as well kind of a rust color which looks great and again these skulls are just absolutely phenomenal up here at the top of the base which looks cool just embedded into that stone really really neat um, and then again, you have the real chains effect going into the back of the um, the back of the base. And this, the base here, the back side is really, really neat. Um, you know, at first glance, it just looks like rock work. But as you actually look closely, if you actually look at it, what do you see? All right, so there's the Batman who laughs right there with the uh, Robins cowering behind him. You actually have uh, the Merciless right there. You have Red Death right here, which is really cool. Uh, again, there's one of the uh, the Robins right there. It just looks awesome. And then, of course, you have the big man himself right there. You guys know who this is back here. Really, really awesome. It just has a lot of storytelling elements with this carved look. But again, at first, you have to really look at it uh, until you see the storytelling elements. But it's really, really well done. Really, really cool. And again, it's so tall. It's really awesome. I'll get you measurements here in just a bit, guys. Um, again, as we spin it all the way around, I'll show you this side. Again, we have more skeleton heads, which is cool. More skulls. We have a great rebar effect. So this is, uh, you know, keyed in. The rebar does key in. And it goes all the way to the top, which is awesome. Again, kind of let me show you kind of a, a, you know, a full side profile here. It's just really awesome. Very deep. Uh, again, you have these skulls up here on the actual throne itself. Again, crumbled concrete, just looks awesome. And then, of course, again, all of this great wood effect as well. Um, the base is awesome, just really awesome. Okay, let's get into the actual the statue itself. Um, beautiful blue. This blue really pops in person. It's a really pretty color. Uh, it's got silver on it. It's got blue. It's got great weathering effect, as you can see, um, all the way up. This uh, the, the knee pad does key in. This is, again, armor. And then, again, on the other leg and foot, you also have the same effect. 
beautiful, beautiful paint. And then again, this does key in right there. Um, that of course leads into the real change in the, in the crotch area, uh, real chains. Beautiful, again, it's all fully sculpted. Uh, even the loincloth down here between his legs looks really great and weathered and tattered and torn, uh, mixed in with the concrete below him and also the wood planks, which looks really, really good as well. Very, very impressive. And then, of course, you have that uh, belt medallion there as well. All right, so I'm going to kind of step up here a little bit so I can give you at a higher angle. Uh, here we have, again, that blue, that beautiful blue color, the armor on his legs. And that, of course, goes into the chest emblem. Of course, you have that Wonder Woman emblem. Of course, this is Bruce Wayne. We have to keep that in mind. But again, that great, beautiful emblem right there goes up into the shoulder pads, which, again, looks really, really phenomenal. Again, this does key in on both sides, this piece, um, which adds a little bit of bulk to him. Uh, you, know, you have a little bit of that sculpted chain mail underneath, which looks really good, beautifully painted. I'm really impressed with the paint on this. And then, of course, that does go into the actual sword itself. I think this is the God Killer sword. If I remember correctly, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Uh, it does key in through his hand, and then this piece does key on the top, a little topper, which looks cool. And then, of course, that goes into his other arm. Again, look at the detail here, really impressive. And that goes into the tablet. I will show you the tablet here in just a second, but I want to show you the portrait first, or the uh, helmeted portrait. Look how evil and demented that looks. It looks so fantastic. Again, you have that great bat wings going up the top. Again, if you look at the actual helmet, look at the weathering, uh, all the nicks and crannies and scratches. Very, very cool. Very awesome. Again, just look at that. So awesome. This guy commands presence. Uh, let me spin this around here slowly so you guys can see uh, the back of this tablet here, which I really want you guys to see. Again, stone tablet. Look who's there. You got Wonder Woman right there. Um, you can take the stone out. So if you don't want to have that look, you can. You can just have him resting uh, on the actual, um, you know, on the skulls if you wish. And then I also want to say, so there is a swap out also. So um, you can swap it out for the unmasked portrait and then put his helmet down where these um, skulls are. So these skulls right there pop out and you can put the uh, helmeted portrait uh, right there. Um, and that way he's holding on to his helmet. So anyway, that's the blue version. I will show you the swap outs here in just one moment. But again, I do want to show you the kind of the whole thing. Again, it's just a massive, massive piece. Really, really cool. And then let's go ahead and go to the red one. So the red one is the same, um, <clears throat> you know, just identical, except for the red color. Uh, the base is identical, so I'm not going to waste your time with seeing the base again. Uh, but let's look at the detail on the red. Obviously, you have red, these beautiful gold colors, which is great. Again, the same armor effect. Um, but again, it's just very different. You know, if you look at this red and immediately go to the blue, you know, you're, you're definitely getting two very different statues, which is cool. Um, this definitely has a more of a flash vibe with the uh, the red and the gold um, again beautiful it's got the same chain effects which is awesome really great uh, armor as you know as, as you can see uh, again let me stand up here so it gets you a better a better view of some of the detail here again look at the the weathering the patina there it looks very very old still shiny but also matte in areas as well um, it's just well painted. I, I'm just I continue to be impressed with XM paint, and I always feel like it's something you really truly can't appreciate until you see it in person. And there, of course, is the helmeted portrait. I am going to show you the unmasked portrait here in just one moment, but I know you're you're going to want to see that. Again, just look how cool that looks. Just awesome. Again, let me give you a full pan here. of what he looks like with the red. And again, I'll come over here and show you what he looks like with the blue. I'll step back here also, get around my equipment here. So you can kind of see them side by side. I do have the blue one on the term table, so he looks a little bit higher, just a little. But I mean, come on, how awesome do these look together? I can definitely see somebody getting both of these. I do want to show you kind of just how wide he is. Like he is just amazingly thick. The base, the, the base is mighty. 
It's a big, big piece. Uh, again, we'll give you some measurements here momentarily, but I did want you to see, you know, kind of a 360, you know, just kind of, again, just what, what kind of presence this guy is going to command being, you know, possibly the centerpiece of your Dark Knight's Metal collection. Although you're probably going to want, uh, you know, the Batman Who Laughs in that spot. But again, just look how cool these look together. So awesome. Really, really cool. Okay, let me go ahead and do the swap out uh, on the red so you can see uh, what that's going to look like. All right, guys, so here is the other portrait. Of course, this is the unmasked portrait right here. This is Bruce Wayne, and it looks fantastic. Um, the red version has a red collar. The blue has a blue. Uh, otherwise, they are identical. Uh, again, great, great portrait, great sculpt here. And then, of course, as you go down his arm, he is now holding his helmet. So the helmet does key in uh, just like the uh, the skulls did. Um, very, very cool, but now he's actually holding on to it, which looks great. So again, that's a really cool look. I really like that as well. Of course, I do prefer the, the helmeted portrait just a little bit more, but it's still really cool to see. Again, let me kind of zoom back a little bit so you can see exactly what he looks like. Just awesome, awesome, awesome to see the unmasked portrait as well. What do you guys think about that portrait? Again, I think it's really well done, beautifully sculpted. I think the paint looks really good. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Cable, <laughs> a little bit, that we reviewed not too long ago. Again, that great torn eye, which looks great. Looks awesome. And again, that portrait down here is even cool. Uh, that, uh, you know, again, it's just part of the base. It adds to some of that storytelling. So again, if you like this look, or if you, again, we're going to pan over here to the blue one uh, and get this look here. So I really think that either way you go, they're both going to look really, really awesome. Uh, you know, again, side by side, if you want to have this one portrait, you know, have this one in blue with the helmet and maybe you get the red as well uh, and have the unmasked, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, again, it's just so awesome to see these prototypes, guys. Again, what you're going to get is going to be even better. I am positive of that. Uh, better packaging <laughs> than I received for sure. Um, but man, this thing is mighty. It is crazy big and it freaking commands presence. It is just insane. When you see this thing in person, oh, you guys are absolutely going to be wowed by it, especially if you are a Dark Knight's Metal fan. Man, these are going to be for you. All right, as always, let's go ahead and get into some measurements. I know you guys are going to want to see what uh, this guy clocks in at. Uh, guess again, he's a big piece. So today I feel like this is going to be a big task because this is such a big measurement. This is such a massive piece. And hopefully you guys can really see just how big they are standing right in front of me or like sitting right in front of me, I guess you could say. So I do want to give you some dimensions, okay? So I want to give you the depth first, okay? So from the very back of this piece, to the very front, you are looking at just a little over 16 inches. So a little 16 inches deep, okay? Now when we're talking about the width, let me uh, go ahead and turn this around. I'm gonna go from this corner here to this corner. You are looking at, let me make sure I have, you're looking at about 19 inches, a little bit over 19 inches with the wood that juts out. So you are gonna need to be aware of that, okay? Now the height, in terms of the height, I am going to measure it from the bottom of my, or the top of my turntable to the very tippy top of that. You're looking at 27 and a half inches tall. 27 and a half inches tall. So again, this is a pretty sizable piece. It is wide, it is a little bit deep, but it's definitely tall, even though it is a seated piece. But again, he is such a monster of a character. He's a massive, massive Bruce Wayne. And again, they both look great. I mean, look at this. Look how great they both look together. It's just awesome. So anyway, hopefully those measurements help a little bit. Man, this piece is incredible. All right, guys, so there you have it. What do you think of the Merciless Quarter Scale from our friends over at XM? I think these are absolutely fantastic. They're both beautifully sculpted. The paint is phenomenal on these. And again, I just want to give a major shout out again to XM for sending me these prototypes so I can share them with you out there in the community. I think they're both awesome. Um, I have to say that I do prefer the blue one over the red. They're both amazing, but the blue is where my heart is. I just think it really shines. It's really beautiful. I even showed my kids. Both of them liked the blue one better than the red, although they said the red one is just as cool. So I do want to, again, share these with you. I want to, you know, 
know, just make sure you guys can appreciate how massive these things are, how beautiful they are. If you are collecting this line, this is a no-brainer piece to add to your collection. Uh, the only downfall, I guess you could say the only miss, would be the size if you don't have a lot of room in your collection. Maybe this one might not fit. Hopefully the dimensions that I gave you helps out in planning the statue. It is available right now for pre-order. I will put the link down below in the description. Um, but otherwise, it's just a very, very awesome statue. As soon as I open, open this, my jaw hit the floor. I just couldn't believe how cool this one was. And again, they're all going to look so great together. And that's what I want to plug next is the next video I do for you guys is going to be all of these pieces. So all five pieces that I received from XM, all five prototypes, I want to show you them all together. So you get a sense of what you're going to be getting if you're getting this whole line, what it's going to look like together. And of course, then you add the Batman who laughs or anybody else that they come out with. Uh, they've teased the Drowned and some other pieces. So again, it's just very exciting if you're a Dark Knight's Metal fan without a shadow of a doubt. And again, the Merciless is just top notch. So I do want to hear your thoughts though. What do you guys think about these particular ones? Which color do you like better? Um, are you planning on getting one? Are you planning on getting them both? Uh, I do want to hear your thoughts in the comments. But again, just thanks to XM for sending me these prototypes. It is just an honor to be able to see these things in person, to be able to review them for you guys. Hopefully um, you can you know, really appreciate the art and hopefully it uh, lives through this video. I know a lot of people uh, will comment down below saying, hey Chris, I really appreciate it because you know we weren't even tuning into this piece until you showed it. So hopefully, again, you guys you know can appreciate the art like I do. Um, it's just both of these are really, really awesome. But again, I do prefer the blue one overall. So anyway, leave your thoughts down below. If you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click the join button down below for early access to our videos and other perks. And you can also do that on Patreon as well. All those links are down below. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Please be good to one another. And again, stay tuned for that big video that I'm going to do showing all of these together. I can't wait to show you guys. I think you're going to love it. Otherwise, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.